With Simon Borg, I'm Jason Seguini. We continue to count down the top 24 players in MLS under the age of 24. And at number four, we have a guy who was on the countdown last year. In fact, he was at the same spot. Number four, Steve Zakwani, the dynamic winger from the Seattle Sounders, showing up here. And the former number one overall pick in the draft, Simon, has really wowed us at times in his young career. Yeah, he's in his third season now. And what's not to love about Steve Zakwani? The dribbling, the speed, the creativity, and the this year, he actually started with producing goals, assists, uh, and he was really looked on his way to an MVP type season, carrying the team on his shoulder, which is what fans wanted to see, but obviously it was cut short. Well, at number four for a reason. He was there last year. He hasn't moved up at all. You have to say it's probably because of the injury that he suffered at the hands of Brian Mullen, a broken leg. He's been out for the, uh, since the fifth week of the season, Simon. So how did that affect him on this countdown? I think the experts want to see the talent realized in his ability to make it an MVP season. Really, take Seattle and take them to a championship. He's always been this promising young talent, and this year was the year that was shaping up to be the one where he takes another step and obviously it didn't happen. All right, when you look at where he rated, I actually, I know he's high on skill. I think people probably think he has some good potential in him as well. But for me, I rated him fairly high on intangibles because I think he has what it takes to come back from this injury. He has a great head on his shoulders. He's always saying the right things, doing the right things with a positive uh, attitude, a positive energy to him. He actually finished number one on my countdown overall, but in the end, he was number four uh, on the countdown. What are your expectations for him moving forward? That's a big question. Mark Jason you never know certain players react differently to certain injuries and in his case it was a broken leg some guys come back like it's never happened uh, others they take some time and don't, don't forget these are months and months of lost time lost fitness on the field who knows how long it might take him it's really a wait and see all right well let's take a listen to what some of the other experts had to say about him you couldn't ask for a more athletic wide player um, from a physical standpoint, he's got the size and strength when he's matching up against an outside back. He's got some great feet. He's able, when in isolation, go down the line, cut inside, look to combine. He can play those one-twos. He can finish. And for me, he was off to one of the best starts in Major League Soccer this year before going down with the injury. So it's going to be interesting to see how he kind of turns his game around at the end of this season and how healthy he is going into 2012. The ultimate compliment that I can pay to Steve Zakawani uh, is the fact that Seattle has had to completely retool the way they play. They were so focused on him in terms of his speed and his um, dynamic ability to take players on and be dangerous. And once that left, uh, Seattle had to change and become a whole new team. Um, that is how important he is for Seattle or any team that he plays for. Once he gets back healthy, it's just a matter of time before he finds his fitness and his form. And once that all comes back together, he'll remind us very quickly why he's one of the top players in MLS. So there you have it, the Seattle Sounders, Steve Zakwani, number four on the 24 under 24 countdown. Stay tuned though, tomorrow we're going to get down to number three, a guy who's been a lightning rod for conversation the last couple years in MLS.